My name is Duncan Johnston Watt. I'm the co-founder and CEO of Blockchain Technology Partners. So Hyperledger Sawtooth is, I guess, probably at this stage, the, um, the second of now half a dozen uh, DLTs. But in terms of what it does, what we particularly like about it is it does lend itself to being highly distributed. So the architecture that the original Sawtooth uh, inventors came up with, in many ways mirrors the way that Ethereum actually works. So what that means, of course, is that uh, some of the additional features like privacy and so on need to be added on to that. But as an architecture, it's highly modular, highly scalable. And there's three things we really love about it. Um, one is the very clear separation between the network layer, so what's happening down at the level of blocks and state, and then what's happening above that at the application tier. That clear separation makes it a lot easier to work with than some of the other technologies we've encountered. Second thing is it lends itself to also uh, being pluggable in the sense of you can plug in different consensus algorithms depending on what you're trying to achieve. So. Uh, this is very powerful because in some circumstances, some use cases, you only need a small number of nodes and in that case you're fine with, with maybe Raft or PBFT. But as you scale out, uh, we think PBFT is good for up, you know, up to hundreds of nodes, but if you want to go beyond that, there's a consensus algorithm called POET, uh, which comes in two flavors, POET it's Crash Fault Tolerant and POET SGX, which would enable you to go out to many thousands of nodes. Now, each of these has to be uh, looked at carefully because uh, in the case of BBFT, it's non-forking. So why is that important? In many financial, for example, use cases, you want finality, you want to be assured that when something is committed, it's not going to be rolled back. Uh, whereas if you're working in a, in a much broader community, uh, maybe you're working within an IoT uh, environment, then whilst that's important, it's not it's, it, it's accepted that there will be, at times, some forking. So the chain will fork and then we'll have, that fork will have to be resolved. Uh, and then finally, um, uh, even when we first started working with Sawtooth, it already had support for smart contract languages. Uh, so uh, the Borough team had actually helped contribute their EVM to Sawtooth. So that's a project called Seth. And what Seth gives you is, is essentially the support for Solidity. And then another team put together a, a project called Sabre and that gives support for WebAssembly. So, and then more recently, we've worked with a company called Digital Asset on supporting DAML. So you now have three smart contract languages, all, all different, of course. Uh, lots of choice, lots of, I would say, flexibility in terms of the overall architecture. Uh, and you, you choose what you need for the job at hand. So if you want to get involved with Hyperledger Sawtooth, I always say start by just hopping onto the wiki and having a look around. Uh, why? Because there's some pretty good documentation and, and lots of uh, hints and breadcrumbs that you can follow. Contributing can mean many things. In my case, oftentimes I'm actually doing quality assurance. I'm testing uh, things that we're building using Sawtooth. Um, if you are a, uh, you know, a, a developer, there are, there are actually uh, quite an interesting range of languages being used by Sawtooth. So, you know, if you've got experience with even uh, Rust, Go, Python, you know, there's, there's a wide range of, of, of technologies involved. Uh, we're all, as a community, not just Sawtooth, but uh, Hyperledger at large, also converging around Kubernetes as the substrate. So if you've got experience there, that's very, very welcome. So I think, you know, have a look around, talk to us. We're friendly. We'll happily answer your emails or questions on Rocket Chat. So um, look forward to uh, seeing you there. Thank you for watching. If you have any comments, please leave them below.